question, but don't question too much. It'll hurt your brain. When you question, it's an indication that you're thinking. When you ask someone a question, it could mean you're actively listening. When it comes to education and learning, question all you want. Why do apples fall down and not up? Why does alcohol make you feel warm? How is cooking with olive oil better than using vegetable oil? Who comes up with these facts anyways? Who, what, when, where, how, and why? Keep all your senses on and be conscious of the information you choose to absorb. But when it comes to other things, things that are less factual and more subjective, that have more to do with emotions, it can be better not to question as much. Like humans in life, better to keep the questions on the down low. For example, why does your friend act the way they do? I mean, you love them, but sometimes they just, something is up with them. And you're like, why are they like that? Why is the average woman like this? Why is the average man like that? Why, why, why? Just because you keep questioning doesn't mean you'll get an answer. And sometimes the closer you are to someone, the more comfortable you are with them, you may question. Parents, for example, why won't they get you this? Why won't they get you that? My friend's parents got everything for them. And why won't my mom let me go out? Why does she pick me up at 12 a.m. even if I'm like 21 and plus years old? Sometimes even if you know the answer, you're too young to understand because knowing something and actually understanding it is different. And even if you ask your parents some questions, they may not give you the full answer because they want to protect you from reality. Maybe they think you're too young to know, especially when it comes to finances. In addition, the more you question someone doesn't mean their nature is going to change. They may continue to be who they are, and even if it bothers you, that's just them. And if their habits bother you so much, then why are you hanging out with them? You know, there are times when I question people and their actions because I want to understand. But the more I try to understand them, the more confused I am. And even if I'm blunt and I ask them, why do you act the way you do? Why do you act weird when I bring this certain topic up? Why do you always bring that topic up when you know that I don't like it? No matter how many times you ask them the same question, they may not answer. Either because maybe they're insecure or just want to keep their personal business to themselves. Or maybe they don't know the answer themselves. Months and years later, sometimes my friends reveal why they acted the way they used to. And because they are now a different person, they feel comfortable to be more honest about back then. So while it's good to question, to actively engage your brain with this world, you gotta give some space to people. When it comes to human emotions, there may be no concrete answer. People are always changing and adapting. And just like a balloon floating in the air, you just gotta leave it alone. Because if you keep questioning it, it's like taking a needle and pricking the balloon. Eventually it'll pop, it'll go crazy, and go flying wall to wall to wall. And why do I love coconut so much? Even I don't know.